Happy to see you here on my channel and a great challenge today, a cubed plus a square equals to 36 and we need to find our a from this really interesting equation. First of all, let's bring this 36 from our right hand side to left hand side. Let's do this. So what do we have right here? We have a, a cube, we have plus a square minus 36, which is equal to, which is equal to zero. So we just bring this 36 from our right hand side to our left hand side. What are we going to do next? Let's write this 36 as 27 plus nine. Let's do this. So what do we have right here? We have a cube plus a square minus, and we write this 36 as 27, okay, 27 plus nine. Okay, we can do this, nothing changed for us, but this is really great, really great trick right here, so equal to zero. So we just write this 36 as 27 plus nine. What are we going to do next? We, we should know that 27 equal to three cube and nine equal to three square. Okay, so let's change this expression by the three cube plus three square. So what do we have right here? A cube plus a square minus, right here we have 27 three cube, and nine, this is our three square, okay? So plus three square, which is equal to zero. So right now let's open these parentheses. This is really great for us because right here we can move, we can open these parentheses. So we have a cube plus a square minus three cube. And of course we need to change this sign because of this minus before these parentheses. So we have minus three square, which is equal to zero. Okay, this is our expression right now. And let's group, for example, right here we have a cube, and right here we have a cube, not like a cube, we have a value to the third power, okay? And right here we have a square, and right here we have the same value to the second power, okay? So let's group this a cube and three cube, Okay, and let's group this a square with this three square. So let's just group these, uh, these expressions, okay? So what do we have right here? We have a cube minus three cube, okay, minus three cube, and plus a square minus three square. Okay, we just group it both elements right here with the third power right here and with the second power right here. Of course, we can easily take this uh, expression inside parentheses. This is a really great move for us because right here we can easily do like that and right here we can easily do this like that. And right now if we look closely, a cube minus three cube. This is a difference of cubes. So let's remember our formula right here. So first of all, our formula with difference of cubes. So what do we have right here? A cube minus b cube. This is, our, this is our cubic formula. So equal to, what do we have right here? a minus b, yeah, a minus b. And the second parenthesis, we have a square, a square plus a b and plus b square. This is our first formula. We really need this right now. This is our a cube minus b cube. And with the same logic, a square minus b square, we have difference of squares, okay? a square minus b square, which is equal to, if this is all known formula, a minus b, times a plus b. Okay, we really need these formulas right here, okay? So right here, this is our first formula and this is our, our second formula. Let's apply this cubic formula right here and let's apply this quadratic formula right here in these expressions. Okay, let's do this. So a cube minus three cube, let's apply all of these to this expression. So what do we have right here? We have a minus three, a minus three, and inside parentheses, we have a square plus three a, and plus nine. Okay, this is our first case. And the second case, this is our formula, a square minus three square. So we have plus. So it was our cubic formula right here, this expression. And we right now we apply this a square minus b square right here. So we have a minus three and times a plus three. Okay, which is equal to, which is equal to zero. Right now, if you look closely, we have a minus three right here and we have a minus three right here. So we can easily factor this a minus three. It will be a really great move for us. Okay, so right here we have a minus three. And if you factor this from here, we still have this expression in another parenthesis. Let's, for example, use another brackets right here. So something like that, okay? And the first parenthesis, a square plus three a. So a square plus three a and plus nine. And we still have a plus three. So plus a plus a and plus three. Okay, and this type of brackets equal to zero. Okay, so what do we have right here? We have a minus three, we still, we still have this a minus three, let's write it, and right now let's simplify this expression inside uh, this type of brackets. So what do we have right here? We have a square plus three a plus nine plus a plus three, so it doesn't matter with these parentheses, we have a square at first. Second, we have three a plus a, we have four a, so plus four a, and plus 
9 plus 3 equal to equal to 12. And of course, all are equal to zero. So as you can see, we factor our question right here. We have a first parenthesis, second parenthesis. So we have a product. So a product equal to zero when first parenthesis equal to zero or second parenthesis equal to zero. For example, let's start with this second parenthesis. So we have a square plus 4a four, four plus 12 equal to zero. Let's solve this. So we have a square plus 4a and plus 12 equal to zero. This is our question. Let's find discriminant, all known discriminant, b square minus 4ac. So b square minus 4ac. Let's plug in all these elements. What do we have right here? b square, we have 4 square. So this is equal to 16. And minus 4 times a equal to 1 right here, because we have this coefficient right here, 1. And times c equal to 12. Okay. Okay, which is equal to 16 minus 48. Okay, which is equal to which is equal to minus 32, minus 32. And this is not good for us because this is a complex unit. This is a complex root right here because discriminant is negative. It implied that right here we have two complex, complex root. And let's find this root right here. So two complex roots. Let's find all of this. It was, it was our a first, but right here we have a second and third. Let's find all these roots. What do we have right here? Minus b, we have minus four, minus four plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 32 and all over all over 2. Let's simplify this a little bit. Let's simplify this complex root a little bit. First of all, we can easily ex ex rewrite this expression right here, minus square root of minus 32 as square root of minus 1 times square root of 16 and times square root of 2. Let's do this. So we have right here minus 4 plus minus square root of minus 32, let's write as a product. So let's write this square root of minus 32 as a minus one, right, like that, times 16 and times two. Let's write this expression like that and all over, all over two, which is equal to. Okay, we need to know an all known formula. If we have a product inside square root, we can easily mm, like split this square root. So square root of minus one times square root of 16 and times square root of two. So what do we have right here? Squ minus four plus minus square root of minus one, which gives us a complex unit, yeah? Times square root of 16 and times square root of two and all over. So all of these we divide by, by two, which is equal to, okay, what do we have right here? Minus four, yeah? plus minus right here we have complex unit this is our i right here square root of 16 equal to equal to 4 so what do we have right here 4 square root of 2 times i okay so we have 4 square root of 2 times i and we divide all of this by we divide all of this by 2. We can easily divide a numerator and denominator by 2. So as a result, we will have our our answer in it in terms of complex numbers, we have minus 2 plus minus 2 square root of 2 times i. This is our, these are our solutions. This is our complex, complex solution. Let's find our real number solution right here. We have a minus 3. So it's, it, it gives us a minus 3 equal to 0. So we have a minus 3 equal to 0. So from here, our a first equal to, equal to 3. a first equal to 3. And our a second and third equal to this value. So let's write our general answer to this challenge. So what do we have right here? So let's write our answer. Let's write our answer. So a first, this is our first real number root. This is our real number root. Real number root, which is equal to which is equal to three. Okay. Second, we have complex root. We have complex root right here. So a second equal to right here. We have let's go with the plus sign. Minus two plus. So we have minus two plus 2 square root of 2i and a third, third complex root. Okay, so right here we have minus 2. Let's go with the minus sign, minus 2, minus 2 square root of 2 times i. These are our solutions to this challenge. So real number root and complex root. So we fully solve this challenge. So we, we have all, all root that we really need. First one real number root and the second and third complex root. Let's check this root real quick. So we have a equal to three. What do we have in the beginning? We have a cube. We have a cube plus a square equal to 36. Let's check it real quick. What do we have right here? A cube, we have three cube plus three square 
equal to 36. Okay, as I told before, this is really great, really great solution because 36 equal to 27 plus 9. We made this substitution before, so this is our answer to this challenge. So this is really great rule. So this is our proof and this is our answers. This my solution may be long, but I hope everyone understand this solution. I try to solve this challenge step by step and uh, like slowly try to solve this challenge uh, completely like in a slow uh, motion right here. So try to solve this challenge slowly and I hope you understand this explanation, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you have any question, write a question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it and definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Thank you everyone for supporting my channel. Thank you everyone for if you leave a like, write any comment. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make a new content every day and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care of yourself.